Hi, this is what rings sounds like normally, and this is what it sounds like when a complex rhythmic envelope played through Disting's sampler is applied to its amplitude. Same for this bass coming out of MCO, this is what it sounds like normally, and what you see on Bitbox's screen isn't an audio sample, but rather CV modulation sampled from a program called Gatekeeper. Let's try it on noise coming out of plats. I'll take this waveform. Again, sampled control voltage, not audio, applied to the level of the noise. And yeah, except for the kick, which is a sample. It turns out that samplers can be pretty good complex rhythmic modulators. Let me show you how. Okay, let's start fresh. One of the things that makes Eurorack awesome is the freedom to modulate, but modulation sources are typically simple envelopes and LFOs. Now, there are tools for creating multi-stage envelopes like this module, or even complex stochastic envelopes like this one, but today I want to talk about a simple trick that explores using sample playback and sampler modules as CV modulators rather than for audio playback. The idea is to use simple sampling gear to bring manual motion sequencing and programmed rhythmic envelopes from the computer world to modular. Now, for this to work, you need a sample playback module that has DC coupled outputs. I have two of those here, Disting Mark IV, with two DC coupled outputs, and 1010 Music's Bitbox with four DC coupled outputs. To record slow modulating CV, you need DC coupled inputs, which Disting Mark IV has. These are AC coupled, so I'll be showing you recording here and playback on both of these. If you know of any other sampler modules with DC coupled inputs and outputs, please leave a comment below. Once we have the hardware in place, we need to either import or create modulating CV. I'll explore two options here. One is just creating manual motion using a module and another using complex rhythmic envelopes on PC software. Let's start with sampling motion. I'm gonna use MCO here as my audio source. I'll be passing the oscillator through QPass, which is a stereo filter. So I'll use both outputs into this stereo VCA and then hook that up to my audio interface so we can hear what's going on. Now, if I connect a constant voltage source into my VCA, we just hear the oscillator. I'll take this waveform. So now I've got audio running through the filter, right? And I want to record modulation of the filter cutoff in this case. I'll be using Disting as my modulation recorder, and for that I need to load up algorithm J5, which is the wave recorder. Now I want to record the manual motion of this knob, so I'll patch that into the recorder input, and I'll patch the recorder output so that we can hear what's going on into the filter frequency. So let's say that I wanted to record a very specific filter motion, like playing these harmonics. Right? So for that, I'll turn on recording here, like this. So this now created a WAV file recording of the CV in one of the folders, and if I pick algorithm, say, I3, which is one of the audio playback algorithms, and then choose the sample I recorded, let's see what happens. just keep looping. Okay, so now we recorded motion sequencing into a sample, 
and then are playing it back. Okay, so that's how you can introduce manual motion sequencing of the type that we see in DAWs or electronic groove boxes into modular. Let's talk about rhythmic patterns like this. So I'll clear this up. So let's see what we're going for. I've got noise coming out of plats. I'll take that, plug it into our VCA, and then split it to both left and right. And let's control the VCAs using the left and right outputs. And if I hit play, right, we have this rhythmic sound which I can, of course, get to loop if I want. And the beauty of this pattern is that it's just level modulation of noise. So another really interesting way to create deliberate, interesting rhythmic modulation patterns is using an external piece of software on a computer called Gatekeeper from Polyverse and Infected Mushroom. Now I'll show you how to do that in a bit, but the idea is to sample these modulation patterns and then load them up as samples into your DC coupled sample playback module. Now I've got about 30 of these rhythmic modulations loaded up both on Disting and on Bitbox and they'll work on any DC coupled sample player. Let me just play a few of them for you. There are a few with um, triplets. Some in stereo. Hopefully you have headphones on. And by the way, all these sampled modulation loops will be made available to people who support this channel on Patreon. So, pretty cool stuff. Okay, so how do you create these complex rhythmic functions? Well, there are quite a few computer-based envelope or function drawing tools like LFO tool from Transfer or Volume Shaper from Cable Guys, but I prefer Gatekeeper from Polyverse and Infected Mushroom because it's super easy to use. It has around 400 presets and more importantly, has a CV out function, which is particularly useful for us. You create the pattern you like using the various brushes, drawing tools, and quantizers. And then once you have a sample you like, you can export that into Wave. You can use Audacity for that as well, if you like to check out the waveforms and trim them, and then just load up that Wave file into your sample playback module. You can control the panning of the various patterns you create, and you can layer up to eight different polymetric patterns. So it's quite easy to create stereo modulations if your sample playback module supports it, as both of these do. Okay, so to complete the picture, there's one more important thing that we need to address, and that is adjusting a sample's tempo. Unlike the computer-based plugin, which automatically syncs to your DAW's BPM, once you sample a pattern, it's stuck to whatever tempo it was sampled in. For consistency's sake, I kept all the waveforms in my sample pack to 120 BPM, and I think that's a good number to stick to, but what if you aren't playing in 120 BPM? So luckily, these two samplers let you slow down or speed up a sample just by pitching it. Most samplers work this way, They'll slow down a sample as you pitch it down and speed it up as you pitch it up. So that's really nice, but the question is how do you hit a specific tempo or sync a beat up with other gear? So there are three ways that I figured out to address this problem. The first is if your sample playback module has a clocked audio playback option, then you can use that. So Disting has this, for example, in algorithm I2. I can take the clock output from Pam's workout, plug it into here, hit play, and now take these two outputs, put them here, right? And now I can control the tempo here, and then send this clock out to anywhere else I want. Right? Cool, so that's one way. Another option is to create a stereo envelope where one side plays the programmed envelope and another is programmed as a clock envelope. So I've got one example of that here. I'll load it up. That's this guy. Left side is sort of like a shuffle rhythm and right side is a kick click. So I can just hook that up here and we can hear both sides if we want. Right? You can hear the click on one side 
and the pattern on the other. And I can take that click and apply it to any other module that I want. In this case, I've got a kick sample right here. And I'm going to be routing this sample out through FX1, through this output. All right, so if I go from here to here, I should be able to hear it. I think I'll pick a slightly less aggressive kick. So I've got a, a kick here, and I've got this pattern going on here, which you should be hearing as one shuffle and then one kick click. And if I take that and plug it into here, it'll trigger the kick. And then I can go into the pitch of this pattern and change that. Slow it down. And the kick, of course, will keep timing with the pattern. And again, I'm just feeding this back here to trigger the kick. I could trigger any other module or clock any other module in this setup. Finally, a third way to get your sample playing at a specific BPM is to use one of the free lookup sites that will tell you how to repitch a sample based on your source and target BPMs. So plug the numbers in based on your source sample and where you want to be, and then it will tell you how to pitch the sample. So that's pretty much it. You can download over 20 of these sampled waveforms over on my Patreon. And if you like these kinds of ideas, there are plenty more where they came from in my book of electronic music ideas, tips, and tricks, also available to people who support this channel on Patreon. Hit like and comment if this video was useful or you have any other ideas. And make sure to click the little YouTube bell after subscribing if you don't want to miss the next one. Thanks very much for watching.